Tokyo Bay, and at its mouth is Nishikasai in Edogawa City. The area is home to about 4,000 people from India, many of which are IT engineers and their families. In April last year, Puranak Yogendra became the first Indian War Council member in Edogawa. He goes by the nickname of Yogi. For 20 years, he's been playing an active role in the community, working to act as a bridge between Japanese and Indian people. Let's follow Yogi in his efforts to deepen and enrich the relations between the Indian community and its country of adoption. Yogi is 42 years old. He lives with his mother, who runs an Indian restaurant where he helps out on weekends. His 17-year-old son is currently studying abroad. He recommends his mother's biryani, Indian-style mixed rice. Yogi studied in Japan, then returned to India before coming back in 2001. He worked in IT and banking and became a naturalized Japanese citizen eight years ago. To become closer to the Japanese locals, he actively participated in neighborhood festivals. Last year, he ran for a seat in the ward assembly on behalf of Indian citizens, and was elected. This is Yogi's home and office. He receives daily messages from fellow Indians seeking help with life in Japan. This woman was suddenly dismissed by her employer. まあ、あれ、some people come to consult with him face to face. Avinash Garg is in his sixth year in Japan. He's considering becoming a naturalized citizen, but he can't seem to gather the courage to take action. He asks Yogi, who has experienced the process, for advice. えっと、インド人はそんなに聞かしてなくて、私コミュニティの中で結構バッシングされました。はい。お前、お前、you <laughs> Yogi hopes more Indian people will come to like Japan and become an active part of Japanese society. Currently, a 
approximately 4,000 Indians live in and around Nishikasai. Several housing complexes were built here due to the location providing easy access to the city center. Later on, many Indians moved into the area. The main reason behind the surge in the Indian population was the infamous year 2000 problem. Back then, to address the Y2K issue, engineers from India were called over to Japan. Soon, the number of Indian restaurants and grocery stores in the neighborhood began to grow. In 2006, the Indian International School was established, and the area came to be known as Little India. a variety of events almost every weekend. Gatherings like this celebration for the Hindu gods are an important part of Indian social life. People here can live comfortably without having to interact much with Japanese society, but this has become a new source of concern for Yogi.約 as the Indian population grew, there was friction with the Japanese locals. Takeda Yotaro, who led the community association where Yogi used to live, recalls some of the issues that came up. あの、同じ袋に入れて、こう、出しちゃうんで、あの、日本では、あの、あの、料理の匂いですかうん。あの、彼のドクトラ、あの、スパイスのように。それは、我慢できないとかね。consulted with Yogi, a board member of the community association at the time, who then decided to visit the Indian households. He created an English guide explaining rules for separating garbage. also made flyers about smoking and traffic rules. だ、共存するか共生するか。だ、共存するのは俺はお前の目に迷惑かけないし、お前も俺に迷惑かけないで一緒にもう静かに住もうっていうのは、まあこれは共存ですよね。でもじゃあ本当にじゃそれで楽し
Japan's legal system is proven to be a major hurdle for foreigners who want to stay in Japan. Pallavi Shiwadekar came to Japan two and a half years ago. She lives with her husband, who is an IT engineer, and their daughter. Just when they got used to life in Japan, the family decided to return to India. They're going back to take care of Pallavi's mother-in-law, who recently lost her husband. Under Japanese law, their parents can only enter the country on tourist visas, which means they cannot live together for a long time. In India, an extended family under one roof is common, and children have to take care of their parents when they grow old. Unfortunately, uh, in this day, we have to uh, take a decision uh, to go back to India, even though uh, uh, we want to stay here. Hello, namaste. Please come. Please start. Please come. Please come. So, how are you feeling? Your exams are cancelled? Shalu Sharma was in charge of human resources at an Indian IT company with about 6,000 employees before coming to Japan. Now that her daughter is old enough, Shalu was hoping to go back to work in her specialized field. But her dependent visa lets her work only part-time in Japan. Right? Normal Sir, sir, sorry, we have to speak in English, right? I feel that if I would have got a job in my own field, probably I would have grown further. And uh, because I've studied very hard for that and my professional career was very good. So suddenly it has come to a stop. Traditional barriers are hard to overcome. Nevertheless, Yogi has started to work on a new project. This is a meeting room in the apartment complex where Yogi used to live. He's planning to open a Japanese language school for Indian people here. As the budget is limited, he's making the learning materials himself. In addition to using social media, he visited Indian gatherings and called for participants to the class. Please, please join us. Whoever want to teach, whoever want to learn, please join us. This is going to be a community thing. Our kids will learn Japanese. Three weeks after opening applications, more than 100 children have applied. The opening day has finally arrived. No one is showing up. Today, the Indian International School was closed due to concerns over the coronavirus outbreak. <laughs> Finally,
To Yogi's relief, a total of 16 people gathered, including four children. I want to speak in English today. Yeah. Sono Mpitsu. Sono Mpitsu. Yogi has a degree in Japanese language studies. He aims to teach not only daily conversation, but also train students so that they can receive higher education in Japan. So from that perspective, I see Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. What is Konnichiwa? Hello. 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 で、日本人の子供は英語を覚えて、まあこの2つのグループでま、例えば今から半年後とかちゃんとお互い少しでもそのことまで会話できるようになれたらなというような思いがあります。いうふうには文化の話をその中でこうみんなにこう訴えていって